In the book of Genesis, we encounter two beautiful realities. Reality number one, of all physical creation, only mankind was made in the image of God. Not the sun, not the moon, not the trees, not the fish, not the birds, not the dry land, not the sea. Only humanity was made in the image of God. In other words, the creation of Adam and Eve was the highlight or the high point of creation. That highlight, that high point came on the sixth day. The other beautiful reality is this. Of the seven days God created, he blessed and hallowed only one. He made it distinct. He made it vastly different from the others to such a degree that he calls it his day. He does not call day one through six his days. He calls only the seventh his day. And with respect to Adam and Eve, he placed his image in them. Then God brought the two of these beautiful realities together. He takes the highlight of creation, Adam and Eve. Then he takes the only blessed day, the seventh day Sabbath, and he puts them together and he tells you and he tells me, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. My brothers and my sisters, my friends, wherever you are, thank you for listening Friday after Friday. God has chosen you and associated you with a day that is precious to him, the highlight of the week, the seventh day Sabbath, the highlight of creation, humanity, that's you. Surely, God thinks very, very highly of you, that he will connect you with a day that is special to him. He puts two highlights together, two high points of creation and he combines them through the act of observance which is of course to be done by humanity my message today is simple it is god's desire that two high points come together every seventh day what is the high point or what are those high points you and the seventh day sabbath and so I say to you, as the servant of God, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Who is thou? That's you, the highlight of creation. What day? The seventh day, the high point of creation week. As you keep the Sabbath holy, remember, my friend, in so doing that, you are preserving the connection God made between two high points, the two highest points of the creation week. Mankind made in God's image and the seventh day Sabbath blessed and hallowed and made personal to God. Do not break that connection, my dear friend, by observing some other day that God did not choose. As you keep the Sabbath holy, may the Lord bless you doubly bless your children and may you grow closer and closer to god as you more faithfully and more faithfully keep the sabbath holy happy sabbath and may the god of beauty bless you